What makes animals in general, or humans in particular, different from inanimate objects and machines? Of course, it is the body structure system, the way we work, the soul, and the indispensable emotion. It can be said that emotion is a huge price. Without it, your life has no meaning, neither love nor friendship, even less heartbreak or disappointment in life. Each person only exists as an emotionless robot. If one day you want to live for your feelings at the expense of your life, would you dare to trade that price? All was creatively reproduced in the movie Equilibrium, a world where all emotions are forbidden. Let's discover the film together with us right now. Equilibrium, a sci-fi action movie, is not only overwhelmed by its beautiful close scenes, but also makes viewers shaken by its very human values. The film takes place in a totalitarian city-state, Libria, where the cause of war is hatred. It is attributed to human emotion. Therefore, the emotion is a dangerous enemy, and it is necessary to eliminate it, thereby stop war and murder. Everyone who shows affection will be killed as soon as they are discovered. In Libria, through the injection of Prozium 2 into humans, the government has turned people into soulless machines. Their day passes, only going to the office to work and then working hard at home to rest, their heads turned off. Not only that, the enjoyment or possession of art products, such as paintings, books, movies, etc., can also be considered a death penalty. The film follows John Preston, played by Christian Bale, a senior member of the Graham Matin Clerk, led by a father. They act as judges and enforcers, ready to destroy things that can create emotions, such as pictures, music, and even rebels who refuse to use drugs and express emotions. In the beginning of the film, Preston kills his partner, Errol Partridge, played by Sean Bean, with his own hands as he holds a book of poetry and broods over it with an affectionate gaze. Preston did not hesitate to shoot through the last claws of heaven in the world in the whisper of his partner. But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I've spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. Needless to say, he was executed in the blink of an eye by Preston himself. But before giving up on life, that person had time to say, A heavy cost. I pay it gladly. The death of his partner, along with the death of Preston's wife from stopping the drug, did not stop haunting him. He became curious about the so-called emotions. Why does his wife, co-workers, and rebels out there constantly die for something as toxic as emotions? Since catching a girl from the opposing faction, Preston begins to discover he also has human feelings. Let me ask you something. Why are you alive? I'm alive. I live to safeguard the continuity of this great society, to serve Libria. It's circular. You exist to continue your existence. What's the point? What's the point of your existence? To feel. Because you've never done it, you can never know it. But it's as vital as breath. And without it, without love, without anger, without sorrow, breath is just a clock ticking. He feels that the society he lives in is too harsh. Everyone lives in oppression without affection, like in a concentration camp. 
day-to-day crammed with father's thoughts from the big screens in public. We humans are often hindered by emotions that influence our decisions. Gradually, he sided with the protesters. Despite being constantly scrutinized by a partner, he eventually triumphed, killing DuPont and helping the sentimental faction to break that harsh social pattern. Emotions are something you can't completely take away from people. The film has given viewers a lot to think about. Those born and raised in such a society will not understand what they have lost, until thanks to a certain impact, they suddenly have the emotion to feel its greatness again. They can be ordinary people, or they are the ones who used to enforce the law for that society. In troubled times, freedom is always a fragile thread that can be cut at any moment. And when freedom is suppressed, human nature will make a choice for itself, continue to believe and work for the ruling party, or rise up and regain the feelings of belonging. The unsuccessful point about equilibrium is about making us question when the film is set in the context of an emotionless society. While the characters in the film express anger, revenge, and entitlement, be honest with us, do you think they are emotions? Equilibrium isn't exactly an excellent movie, and it is not entirely bad either. That limbo inspires and stimulates the viewer's thoughts. The film poses a very amazing problem, creating a futuristic utopia, which anyone who has feelings will be treated as a criminal and must be removed from the community. The characters' kata shooting and fighting scenes are accurate and lively. They use the beautifully traditional martial arts combined with the coldness of two handguns. Preston becomes an absolute killing machine. And Christian Bale's performance exceeds the requirements of a typical action movie. Almost all the time in the movie, the characters are dressed in black, but at the end are elegantly dressed in white. The author must be implying that this is a person who has switched extremes from evil to good and has found his way. Equilibrium is one of the classic sci-fi action movies in 2002. Up to now, whether you've seen or not seen it yet, the film will always bring great experiences. The movie helps us to cherish everything around in this life forever by an unforgettable quote. Without love, breath is just a clock ticking. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe to Ask K-Pop Entertainment. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.